In this video, we're gonna be using a test soap from Shannon's and the leaf for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using a test soap. We'll show you the Shannon's logo. Uh, Shannon sent me some samples of some things she's um, trying. And so today we're gonna to use one of those soaps. And I will say the scent on this one I like. I think the scent strength could come up a little bit, but I do like it. So we'll, we'll give feedback on that. And also we're gonna talk about why I like the leaf or why I leaf so to speak. And one of the things I'm doing today is trying something. Could be stupid. Uh, there's a newer guy making videos named Subi, and he put two half DE blades in the bottom slot of the leaf to give it more rigidity. I don't know <laughs> how that's gonna work, but uh, Subi has great enthusiasm, and so I figured I'd do that. But I also put one in the next slot up too. Two in the bottom, one in the next slot up. And again, I think his reason is it gives it more rigidity. He likes that. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And we'll talk a little bit about him in a moment. But first of all, the reason that I really appreciate the leaf for head shaving, among other reasons, but the orientation of the blades and the leaf, as you can see, it's it's laying flat when you're shaving, as opposed to a D8 DE razor where you have to get that angle in order to get it flat. It's got it's gonna be somewhere in there, and you have to maintain that angle throughout. Of course, the leaf via pivoting sort of handles that and the orientation of the blades laying this way instead of you know being like this it just makes it easier it's more comfortable for me to use it is more cart like so to speak but again this is not a cart anyway that's one of the reasons <laughs> that i leave plus it just gives me excellent shape so let's get started with lathering today again shannon soap today test soap test uh, scent uh i presume shannon's the lather is always exceptional it's 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 really outstanding, very easy to use. This morning I used a new soap by Zingari Man, and I have I had to finesse that lather a little bit to get it to come along. No such thing with this one. This one just, it just burst into lather right away, and it is a good quality lather, and that's what I really appreciate about Shannon's. Ease of use is, uh, is really good with Shannon soaps. And Shannon, the scent on this one, I do like it. I think we could up it a little bit, and I'll tell you which sample this is. Um, privately, but uh, the one thing with Shans you can count on is good quality soap. It punches well above its price in terms of the quality that you get, and uh, it is really fun. I don't know. There's just something about the formula that I like a lot, and I'm not even sure which formula this is, but all the Shans formula, whether you're using the Classic Line, the Chupacabra base, or the Rust Belt Reserve, all are uh, good performers as far as that goes. And uh, they're usually well-priced, which again, you know, I really like that, of course. When you buy as much stuff as I do, you're gonna really appreciate that. So let's talk a little bit about uh, Subi, and I apologize if I'm saying his name wrong, but uh, I just, um, so last year, I mentioned a lot of new channels, and I was really enjoying doing that, right up, right up into the point where people started complaining that I was supporting some people more than others. And it, become, it became a whole big childish thing. And so I've been a little more reluctant this year to, to, to do it just honestly, because it created headaches for me. And also, you know, sometimes you mention folks and you think they're, you know, they sort of have the same values you, as you and so on. And, and, you know, you, and then you find out they don't. And so again, I, I, I love to see new people in the hobby. Uh, I think everyone has something to share, and I think everyone uh, has something to offer. But man, it brought about a lot of uh, gnashing of teeth last year, mentioning all the new channels. I do love to support them. I watch them. But uh, when people start complaining about you're supporting this one and that one, it, it became very, very annoying very quick. So anyway, Subi is a channel, and his sort of shtick, if you want to call it shtick, is that he uses all sorts of different type of blades and razors that they really weren't designed to be used in, you know, and he's clipping the blades, literally clipping the blades, cutting the blades, punching the blades to make them fit, uh, things they weren't necessarily designed for. And let me say at the onset today, I'm doing something that the leaf was not designed to do. So if I had a bad, if I have a bad result, it is my own fault. 
It is not the razor, it is me. I'm pulling a Subi here and it could backfire. And again, I don't remember hearing him. I watched the videos, but I'm, I don't remember uh, how he said his name on his channel. So if I get that wrong, I apologize. But he's got great enthusiasm, which I like. And you can tell he's just really enjoying what he's doing, as I do. And so I wanted to mention him today. And I think this does feel a little bit different. Um, I think I can say that uh, for sure. Whether it feels better or not, I cannot say. You know, I'll have to continue on with the shave and see how close we're getting. Um, you can, it definitely feels different with that second blade and that bottom spot. So, you know, it's just an idea and it's one of those things. Now, do I recommend this? No, no, <laughs> I recommend you use the blade. You use the razor the way the manufacturer designs. However, if you want to do it, it's completely up to you, but I don't recommend it because I only, always want to stick with, you know, what the manufacturer suggests so you can be as safe as possible. That said, it feels pretty good to tell you the truth. So he might be onto something. I mean, he uses, he does all sorts of wonky stuff, which I find to be pretty enjoyable. And he has great enthusiasm, which I also find to be enjoyable. So hopefully mentioning him won't backfire. <laughs> and people go, oh, you didn't mention me. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm using something that I saw him do. So I, I think it's only appropriate to uh, to give him credit. The Shannon soap, of course, is fantastic in quality as always. I do like this scent. And of course, since it's a test soap, we won't tell you much about that. And I apologize. Um, I'm just, I'm sort of giving private feedback publicly <laughs> if that's a, if that's even a thing. But remember, watch the ears. I see Zuby or it, it would be easier if his name was Zuby, but I think there's already a Zuby. I see him zipping around his ears and it scares the mess out of me. Like he's just like, psh, 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 and I'm like, mm. but I don't think his ears set as close to his uh, head as mine do. So, you know, he has a little leeway there to get around him a little easier than me. But I always recommend that you use care around the ears. I've gotten them so many times, it's not even funny. And so just, Keep that in mind. I tend to pull mine out of the way so I can get in behind there, you know. And don't forget, touch up the neck too. And as someone reminded me the other day, don't forget the ears and, you know, things like that as well while you're touching everything up. I do like the scent on this one. Um, it's very, very nice. I think I could use it strengthened just a bit, but uh, it's nice. I know... Um, the the soap, and now I'm forgetting the name of it, that Shannon's made for the razor company. Uh, the Italian name, I'm forgetting the name of it. Um, I think most people like that, but it was light in scent. And the only complaint I heard about that, that from some was that it was a little too light in scent. So you always have to be careful of that. But if you go too much in scent, you know, you can have frag burn. So it's always a delicate balance for these artisans. And uh, I'm going easy here because I'm using this in a different way and honestly it felt pretty good it did feel um I don't know if it's just in my head but it did feel more efficient than normal I mean I took a lot off at that pass so maybe Subi's on to something there I don't know <laughs> so anyway why a leaf well for one um it uses DE blades, which I have a ton of, and they're very inexpensive. The Astra, is, Astra is the blade I'm using today, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but Astra SP sometimes can be found for as low as $5.99 for $100. So that's a reason to leaf. Um, very, very inexpensive in terms of blades. And if you already have a DE, um, a bunch of DE blades, you can just, you know, snap them in half and use them with the leaf. Of course, you can buy uh, blades that are already in half if you want to, but it's cheaper just to buy a hundred pack of regular um, DE blades and do it that way for what it's worth. But also, I, I do like the pivot on the, uh, you know, moving on to the next reason I leave. I like the pivot. I think it makes it easier around, around the curves and contours of the head. Now, some people 
are strict traditionalists and they don't want the aid of any sort of pivot or anything, that is entirely okay. But I have found in the years that I've been shaving the dome, that for me, I like to pivot. I think it it's helpful. There's many, many curves, contours, and it just, it just allows you to get those areas a bit easier. At least that's my perspective. Again, you don't have to agree with that or you don't even have to like it, but that's what I like about it. I think the pivot on the head helps out a lot. I don't find it to be all that necessary for the... It, look, it's not necessary in any case, really. Look at that. It's good quality on that lather. Um, I don't find the pivot to be necessary in any case, but I, I like it. And it makes it for an enjoyable, easygoing shave where I'm not constantly adjusting that angle as I do with the DE razor. That's why you don't see me use DEs as much. Also... I will say, I can get a close shave easier with the leaf than I can with the DE razor. In other words, with the DE razor, once I'm finished, I find myself having to make a lot more cleanups. Um, and with the leaf, it tends to get it more with little or, with uh, less effort, not little or effort. And I enjoy that. Not every, again, I, I certainly don't expect everybody to agree with me on that. But for me, I find that I get a good result with less effort with the leaf. Now, you can use only one blade with this. You can use three blades if you want. It's completely up to you. But since it does have more than one blade, you know, you're probably covering a little more with each stroke with the leaf. So that might be another reason that I enjoy it. But just generally, I find it enjoyable to use. Enjoyment is the number one reason I leave. <laughs> uh, another benefit, of course, um, you are not using cartridges and adding to plastic and so on. Now I know someone told me uh, in one of my recent videos that Gillette has started a recycling um, program for cart, and I think that's a that's a great idea. Look, I'm not one of these people that get wound up about you know, plastic, because plastic is a necessary part of our lives. I mean, it really is. Without it, we would we would be worse off in many ways. But I definitely don't want to use and throw away any more than I have to, you know, because we, we do know the impact of that. And I'm not going to get into the politics of all of that kind of stuff. But I'll just say that that's another benefit for many people. The, the, the fact that it's all metal, you're not using plastic cartridges, that is a, a benefit. But but really for me, ultimately, it's because I enjoy the shave, I get good results easily, um, I just like the razor, and I have ever since I started using it on my head. It's just one of those go-to, you know, easy going kind of razors. Now it does, there is a learning curve, and I, I mention that every time I do a head shave with the leaf because some people will buy the leaf and they'll start using it like a cart, using a lot of pressure and so on and so forth. And then they're like, why in the heck am I cutting the heck out of myself? You do have to use care. There are very sharp blades in the razor and you have to respect it. And I would say it's not quite as forgiving as cart razors in terms of pressure, if you're using a lot of pressure. And of course, you know, if you're doing something wrong, meaning improper technique or you get going this way, of course that's gonna that's gonna be a cut. But generally speaking, I just enjoy using the razor. I get some really nice head shaves. I don't have to buy the cartridges, which are, you know, pretty expensive. Now I still use carts, as you know. I'm not anti-cart, but I think you know, it's an affordable option, even if you factor in the fact that the razor itself, you know, there's some expense involved with that. Um, I think it's still a fairly affordable way to, to shave, even if you factor in, and I'm not sure what these are running right now even, but uh, I think generally, if you're gonna use one of these, you know, for a couple of years, I'm sure you probably get your money back, you know, your, your investment, you'll get a return on that investment. And I haven't done the math on it, but especially if you're buying, let me put it to you this way. 
If you're buying retail, in other words, if you're buying blades out of the pharmacy, Gillette Fusion, man, that was a good head shave, I gotta say. I think, I think Soupy might be onto something. But anyway, if you're buying, say, Gillette Fusion razors and blades out of the pharmacy, do a little touching up here, and you're paying full retail, and you're not getting a discount, it's not gonna be too hard to reach the cost of one of these razors. Um, and, you know, the, the DE blades are so affordable compared to cartridge refills. That's, that's the part that, you know, makes it affordable. But again, I know people before have balked at the cost of the razor itself, which is, I think somewhere around $80. I'll maybe caption it right there if I happen to be wrong. But for me, um, it's worth it because I can leverage my blades. I like the pivot. I like the fact that, you know, I don't, if for some reason I ran out of cartridge blades or whatever, I got thousands of DE blades laying around. And you can use the blades you're already using for many other purposes. And that's another reason I leave. And honestly, I just think it's a good product. Both the twig and the leaf have always worked very, you know, well for me. And if it wasn't a good shaver, I wouldn't leave. <laughs> so let's put it that way. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse, followed by a cold water rinse, and then applied our Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. I gotta say, the, the kid, Subi, might have taught the old man something here. Um, putting two blades in that bottom slot did something. It appeared to be a little more efficient for me. Maybe that's just because of rigidity. I don't know. Do I recommend it to those of you who are new with the leaf? No. Use it the way it's designed is my recommendation. But if you're adventurous and you try it, uh, you know, it might work for you. But keep in mind, if you mess up, it's your fault. <laughs> so, or let's just blame Subi. It's his fault. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed the shave today with the leaf. It's a great razor for me. Magnificent head shaver. The head is just feeling fantastic. And for me, there's no better. The head shave, when you get that baby butt smooth level cue balls, I like to say, nothing feels like it. It's just phenomenal and excellent shave. Uh, of course, our test soap from Shannon's today, thumbs up. I like the scent. I think we could bring the scent level up, but great quality soap. Check out Shannon's. We used our AP Shave Co. I call this the White Wizard with the cashmere knot, and of course our captain's choice bowl. And I wanna thank you all for joining me. Um, I didn't bring an aftershave today, so I'll, I'll grab one after the video, but thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.